Let's continue with our flower color example. And let's actually use this Hardy-Weinberg equation. So we calculated the frequency of the red allele and of the white allele in the previous video. So we're going to use those numbers here. Just as a review, um, the p squared value is the expected frequency of the um, genotype of the red allele. <clears throat> 2pq is the expected heterozygous genotype. Um, now, if this was a completely dominant situation, which most of the examples are, um, you would not be able to distinguish between individuals that are homozygous dominant or heterozygous. So um, sometimes, and actually most cases, you will be given one of the allele frequencies and you have to calculate the other because you cannot look at the population in all cases and know everybody's genotype. If it is a completely dominant situation, you cannot distinguish, you cannot look at the individuals and see the difference between P squared and 2PQ individuals. Just like you can't look at them and say you are homozygous for red or you are heterozygous. You can, however, look at the population and know who is homozygous recessive. So you can use that information to be able to take your Q value, your frequency of the recessive allele, to calculate the expected genotype frequency. So please keep that in mind. Our book uses this incomplete dominance example because you can easily see each genotype. And it's really important for understanding how this equation works. But in reality, our situation is going to be that you cannot distinguish the homozygous and the heterozygous individuals. So let's take our p-value and our q-value from our previous example. So we calculated that out of 500 wildflowers, we have a p-value or the red allele value of 0.8, and we have a q-value or the white allele value of 0.2. If you don't remember how you did that, you probably need to go back and watch the other video again. Take some notes. If you do, then let's continue on. So the purpose of the Hardy-Weinberg equation is to be able to calculate the genotype frequencies of individuals in a population. Now remember, you're, wanting, you're using this equation to determine whether or not your population is changing. So you're using those allele frequencies to see how it's affecting the genotypes in your populations. So we can use these parts of the equation to calculate the frequency of our homozygous individuals and our heterozygous individuals. This is going to correlate to the number of individuals in a population. So let's first start by calculating the, the probability of being homozygous for red. So in this case, this is a red flower. Um, the probability of being homozygous red is p squared. So p, p was calculated as 0.8, so p squared is 0.64. It's really that simple. You use the part of the equation that you need to calculate the probability of being that genotype. The probability of our other homozygous individual, the probability of being homozygous for the white allele is q squared. So we calculated q as 0.2, square that, we get 0.04. So q squared, or the probability of being homozygous for the white allele, is 0.04. Frequency of the heterozygote individual, so in this case it is pink. Um, in most problems you, you won't see the heterozygotes. You'll see that they have the dominant phenotype, so just keep that in mind. But in this case, we can see that individuals are CR or CW, and therefore they are pink. The probability of being heterozygous, remember, is dependent on the fact that you can get that from two in two different ways. You can be uh, CR from dad, CW from mom, or CW from dad, CR from mom. So two times the probability of both alleles. Oh, I see a mistake in there. Ah, fixed it. All right, if you didn't see it, don't worry about it. All right, so probability of being heterozygous is 2 times P times Q, which is equal to 0.32. So we have now calculated the probability of being a homozygous red, heterozygous, or homozygous white 
individual. So that's really what this equation is most often used for, is calculating the frequency of genotypes in a population.